The Acting World Mourns Richard Burton, the story at 11.30. An eight-letter word. The clue is some husbands spend a lot of time there. This is the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All right. Thank you, James Kirk. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to Scrabble, a brand new television version of the game you all know so well. We have our Scrabble Sprint champion backstage. She's done very, very well in uh, the last time. Let's meet her right now, Irma Tamayo. Hi, Irma. Hi, Ed. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you. You got uh, $2,000 under your belt already and ready to go again? I'm sure ready. Only four more in a row, and we'll give you a bonus of $20,000. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right. In a few moments, you're going to be playing against the winner of this next match. So if you want to wait backstage, we'll get to you just as soon as we can. Okay. All right. Jay Stewart, let's find out who they are. She wants to run for office. He wants to be an ambassador. From Cal State Long Beach, Melanie Gartenbaum. And from Yale University, Bill Colbert. All right. Welcome back. Go with you. Oh, we left off. Uh, Melanie had... Uh, had one word right, and Bill, you had zip. Melanie, tell us a little bit more about yourself, if you will. Well, Chuck, I'm a junior at Cal State Long Beach, uh -huh. and I plan someday to run for some kind of public office. Really? Maybe what, not a dentist. What would you something. really like to be if you had your druthers? The first woman president. Would you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think really that's like possible? It. Someday. Looks yeah. like it's going to be possible. We've got somebody uh, for vice president already, so yeah. that, you know, never know. Bill, welcome back, and uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, Chuck, I'm originally from New York, and I'm now at school at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, where I'm actually a bio major, although I'm working in the entertainment industry, but someday hope to be a foreign ambassador. All right, great. Well, it's nice to have you both back. I tell you what, we're going to take a commercial break, come right back, and finish this one off in just a second. See you. I mentioned before that uh, Melanie has uh, one word, Bill has none. If everybody's ready, we'll play Scrabble. You ready? I'm ready. All yeah. right, let's go. We're going to play until somebody gets three <laughs> words right. And that player goes on to our Scrabble Sprint and a chance of more than $40,000 in cash. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. We're going to be building on the letter L this time, okay? And uh, Bill, we'll start with you since you're behind. There are eight letters in this word. The clue is some people need it twice a week. Some people need it twice a week. Any idea? <laughs> No idea, Chuck. All right, the rest of those letters in that word are scrambled and controlled by the number tiles between you, so if you want to grab two of those, we'll be off I'll and take run. number one. Ready? And number eight. All right, you have an S, and eight was an A. Which of those would you like to try? I'll try the S, please. Try the S. If it works. Blip. Yes, right in there. All right, any idea? Some people need it twice a week. He says no. Try the A. Okay. Each game is worth $500, by the way. A, first position in the word, sometimes that helps. Some people need it twice a week. No? Two more letters. Two more tiles, here we go. I'll take number five and number two. Have an I and number two is a C. Which of those would you like to try? I'd like to try the C. Try the C first. Okay, that's a stopper. For those of you who don't know, we have three stoppers in every word. There are three letters that don't belong in the word at all. And when you hit one of those, you lose your turn. Melanie, you get a shot at this. Some people need it twice a week. No, I don't have any idea yet. All right, take another tile and bring yourself up to speed. And... All right, I'll take number four, please. All right, number four. Number four is an A. I'd like to try the A. Try the A. One A is already up there and falls right in. Some people need it twice a week. No clue yet. No idea? Try the I. Okay, try the I. Maybe that'll help. Some people need it twice a week. No. Still don't know. No, I don't. Right. Two stoppers still out. Take two more tiles. Good okay, luck. I'll take number 10 and number 3. A Y and an S. The Y, please. Try the Y. Analysis. Analysis. That a girl. You got it. Oh. That's two, right? Want to remind you that three win the game, so you're very close, Melanie. Bill, let's start with you this time, see if you can catch up with her. We're going to be building on the letter A in analysis this time. Go to the board, please. And there's seven letters in this word, okay? The clue is, it can change your plans. Any idea? No. Nope. He says no. Take two tiles. Number one. Number one. And number eight. 
You have an H, and you have an E. I'd like to try the H. Try the H first. It can change your plan, Bill. Try the E. All right. Falls right in there. It can change your plans. Try. No, got that <laughs> Here we go. lean and hungry look on her face. <laughs> try number two. All right. And number seven. Have a G and a T. I'll try the T. Try the T. Bill, it can change your plan. Try the G. All right. First stopper of this word, Melanie. It can change your plans, and it can really win the game for you in $500. Weather. You got it. That's enough. I'll tell you what that means to you in just a minute, Bill. Thanks for being on the show. I'm sorry you couldn't win it. We have some nice parting gifts for Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thanks again. Good luck at uh, Princeton. Come on down, Melanie. Or is it Yale? He's Yale. <laughs> I should have said good luck with Princeton. Yeah, how you doing, hon? Just great. Good, $500 richer? Yeah, not too shabby. I'll tell you what, she's won $500. We're gonna go over and play Scrabble Sprint. That'll be worth $1,500. And if you wanna come with me, we'll be back in just a minute to play that. Stay with us. Come on. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Willery. Thank you, Jake. Uh, we're in the middle of our second uh, college week, or at the beginning of our second college week. Our Scrabble Sprint champion you met at the top of the show is Irma Tamayo, and she's going to come out right now. Come on out, Irma. As I mentioned before, Irma has a total of uh, one win, $2,000. Uh, all she's got to do is do this four more times, and we're going to give her a bonus of $20,000, if she can do it in a row anyway. Challenger Melanie has just won $500. You two will be competing for $1,500 in this uh, game. Now, each of you will play three words. The best time wins. And since you're the challenger, you get to pick a colors. I'll take the blue. You're going to take the blue. Mm -hmm. All right, Irma, that'll leave you with uh, the pink. Let's see how we do. Okay, one, two reminders. Hit your plunger before you give me your word, because that stops the clock, okay? And there are no stoppers in these words. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. All righty. Your first word, six letters in the first word. Some of them fold up is the clue. The clock will start when we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Some of them fold up. Ready? Ready. Go. S. I. C. Some of them fold up. R. Some a. of them fold up. Chairs. Chairs, that's exactly right. All right, down to the last letter. And of course, we don't give you the last letter. Second word, seven letters in this word. He's well armed is the clue. Ready? Go. C. S. He's o. well armed. O. He's well armed. U. Octopus. Octopus, exactly right. 13.8 seconds. Not a bad time. All right. Melanie, your third word, eight letters in this word. Some guys are too big for them, is the clue. Ready? Ready. Go. S H. Some guys are too T big for them. B. Some guys are too big for them. I. Bridges. Bridges, exactly right. Good for you. 21 seconds even. It's going to be a tough time. It's going to be a tough time. All right, Irma. We do just the reverse with you. We go backwards. So you have to get all three of these before the clock hits zero to win. First word, six letters in your first word. The clue is you can play it. Ready? Ready. Go. S. You can U. play it. P. You can play F. it. M. You can play it. Possum. Possum, right. Second word, seven letters in this word. Some people shake theirs is the clue. Ready? Ready. Go. I. R. Some people shake M. theirs. I. Some people shake it. T. A. Some people shake it. Martini. Martini, exactly right. Ooh, five seconds for this last word. It's got eight letters in this word, so it's kind of long. Maybe you can do it. Let's see. The clue is there's not a single person in it. There's not a single person in it. Ready? Go. R. E. There's not a single person I. in it. M. There's not a single person. Oh, you time's up. I'm sorry. Time's up. Give you $1,500, $2,000. Now, you're the new champ, and you've got $2,000. A little hard to hold anybody up here for any time at all. We've had a, we haven't had a $20,000 winner. 
But uh, he did very well. I know that $2,000 ought to come, uh, be in, come in handy for some things. Sure will. Sure will. I'll tell you what, we're going to take off. We're going to find uh, Melanie a new opponent and come back and do this all over again in just a minute. Stay with me. If you'd like to be a contestant on Scrabble, write to Scrabble, Post Office Box 67519, Los Angeles, California, 90067. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Jay. Back to you with two new players. He wants to win, sir. She wants to engineer jeans. From Cal State Fullerton, Bill Neal. And from UCLA, Kirsten Reichetter. All right. Nice to have you both with us. How you doing, Bill? How you doing, Chuck? I'm doing fine. You, uh, you were born in the Virgin Islands? Are you well, still... I was originally born here, and I've lived there for 17 years. Oh, you've been in the Virgin Islands for 17 Is your father in the service, or...? No, he's a businessman down there. Oh, I see. And you like it there? No, oh, I love it down there. Is it great? Yeah. Love it. You wouldn't move back here for anything? Well, right now, I'm out here, but yeah. if the time comes again, I'd like to work down there eventually. Oh, good. Nice to have you with us today, Bill. Thank good you. luck to you. Hi, Kirsten. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's good. Now, you want to go into genetic engineering, right? Yeah. Where do you see that going? Um, well, I don't, actually, I really don't know. It's just something I'm interested in. Good. Possibly understanding the roots of cancer or something. Who knows? Well, I'm sure you'll do very well in it. I hope you do well in the game today. Welcome to both Thank of you, you, and good luck to you. Who won the tossback stage? I did. You won the tossback stage. Okay, Kirsten, we're going to start off with you. Let's go to the board. <laughs> we're going to be building on the letter I in this game. Uh, eight letters in this word. The clue is... It happens when two hands meet. Kirsten, any idea what that is? No idea. Okay, pick up two tiles. Here we okay, go. Okay, I'll take number three. And number nine. Number nine. That's an E and an I. Which of those would you like to try? Um, I think I'll try the E. Try the E first. First stopper of the word. Bad luck for you, Bill. It happens when two hands meet, Bill. You want to take a shot at this one? No idea, Chuck. Okay, take one tile. Bring yourself up to speed. Here we go. Uh, number eight, please. All right, number eight is a P. Which of those would you like to try? Uh, let me try the P, please, try Chuck. Try the P. Second stopper. Boy, you guys are going through these. All right. Kirsten, back to you. It happens when two hands meet. You can either guess it or take no a tile. No idea. Okay, take a tile. Um, I'll take number six. This better be a good one. I hope it is. <laughs> a T and an I. Which do you want to try? I think I'll try the T. Try the T. Nobody wants the vowel. <laughs> yep, good. Happens when two hands meet. No idea yet. No? That means you have the I left. Um, should I... Can, I would like to take another tile. Well, actually, you can't to you use the I. Okay, then I'll <laughs> Yeah, take you got to use the I first. <laughs> Get them all used up, then you can go. Yeah, works. <laughs> Happens when two hands meet. Surprise you, didn't Still it? no idea. Okay, two more tiles. Um, I'll take the 10. Have an H. And the 2. And the 2 is an M. Um, I'll try the M. Try the M first. First position in the word. Sometimes that's a good clue. It happens when two hands meet. No idea yet. Doesn't know yet. Try the H. You're on a roll. That one's good, too. Only one stopper out. It happens when two hands meet. Do you have any idea? Um, yeah, I'd like to take a guess. Okay. Midnight? That's exactly right. Very, very good. I think that's kind of cute. Happens when two hands meet on the clock, of course. <laughs> yeah, Failed to I mention it was clock hands. <laughs> okay. Figure out the meeting, Kirsten's right? got one. Bill's uh, got zip. Bill, we're going to start with you. All right. I want to remind you all it takes three to win the game. Bill, let's go to the board. We're building on the letter I in midnight. There's seven letters in this word. The clue is most people like theirs blue, Bill. No idea, Chuck. No idea. Take two nope. tiles. Number one and number nine. Number one, number nine. You got a B, and the nine is a B. Two Bs. Oh, I guess I'll uh, try a B, Chuck. That'd probably be a good idea, Bill. <laughs> well, first one works. Most people like theirs blue. Uh, no idea, Chuck. I guess I'll try the other B. Let's hope. Right next to each other. Most people like theirs blue, Bill. Uh, no idea, Chuck. Two Take more two tiles. tiles. Number two. And number eight. Have an O and an R. Which one do you want to try? Uh, let me try the R, please, Chuck. Try the R first. Bill, most people like theirs blue. Let's try it again. Uh, let's take a guess. Ribbons? Yes, that's exactly right. Good for you. All right, that ties it all up. There you go. It's a new game. Kirsten, we're going to start with you since Bill got the last one right and you're tied up. Let's go to the board. 
We're building on the letter N and ribbons this time, Kirsten. Eight letters in this word. The clue is Santa hates little ones. Any idea? No idea. Okay. <laughs> take a couple of times. Sounds a little peculiar. It is a little peculiar. You're right. I'll take the five. <laughs> okay. And I'll take the ten. Have an E and an S. Um, I'll try the E. Try the E first. Santa hates little ones. No idea. No idea? That leaves the S. I guess I have to take it. <laughs> Santa hates little ones. No idea yet. Still don't know what it is. Just gonna knock off these There's letters. There's four. <laughs> I'll take a four. <laughs> and a two. You have an I and you have an M. Um, I'll take the I. Try the I. You're rolling right along. Santa hates little ones. Um, I'll take the M. <laughs> okay. Santa hates little ones. What is it, Kirsten? Uh, chimneys. That's right, yes. <laughs> it's like killing all these flags. Well, you were right. It was a little peculiar. Well, Santa himself. Well, Bill, let's go aboard with you. You're a little behind this time. We're going to be building on the letter I and chimneys. Five letters in this word. The clue is a real tearjerker. Real tearjerker. What do you think? Well, I don't have any idea, Chuck. Well, if those tiles ever pop up, oop, there they come now. I was wondering where they were going. Okay, reach over there and grab two of them. Uh, number one, please. And one. number seven. Two O's. Uh, I guess I'll have to try an O, please. Good Chuck. idea. You got two B's, two O's, you get two of everything. Work. First uh, letter in the word. A real tearjerker. Yes. Onion? Yes, that's right. Rolling right along. Good night, Bill. Very good guess. All right, all right, Kirsten. You guys both are tied at two apiece. Either one of you. Whoever gets this one's going to win the game. 500 bucks at least. All right? Okay. You ready, Kirsten? Want another peculiar one, or would you just like to have a regular one? How about an easy one? Oh. <laughs> I think this is, as a matter of fact, I think this is real easy. Okay. Building on the letter N and onion, five letters in, the, in, in this word. The clue is a bad place to take a walk. You know it? Yeah. Tell me. I'm gonna guess. Plank. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I said it was easy, and it was. I'll tell you what that means, Bill. Boy, you stayed right in there all along, but she was just a little too tough right well, there towards the end. Thanks for being on the show, Bill. Good luck to you in the Virgin Islands. You have some nice parties here. Thank you. Come on down, Kirsten. <laughs> well, you got, you got an easy one. I guess How not. did you get that? I don't know. I guess I was like pirates. <laughs> sure makes sense to me. She got $500. We're going to go over and play Scrabble Sprint again. It's worth uh, $1,500 if you can win that. Uh, five times in a row, just to clarify this, five times in a row in the Scrabble Sprint, that's $20,000 bonus. You win that five more times, we'll give you another $20,000 bonus. You ready to go over and try? I'm ready. Okay, you go to commercial, we'll go over here. Yeah. I'm here with uh, Melanie Gartenbaum, who's our uh, Scrabble Sprint champion at $2,000. We've had a tough time this week keeping anybody in place to give them, you know, $3,500, $5,000, $20,000. Nobody's done it yet, so maybe you'll be the one, Melanie. Yeah, it just got easier. Yeah. And then again, Kirsten's here. She's going to challenge Melanie tomorrow with the Scrabble Sprint because uh, we didn't have enough time today. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now is because we ran a little bit short of time and couldn't get through the Scrabble Sprint and didn't want to leave you guys in the lurch. You are a traveler, as yes. I know. What, uh, where do you travel from? What do you do? Well, I'm from Virginia, and it's my third cross-country travel out here. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun, and I have a CB, and I talk to all the people on the road. And You're kidding. Yeah, do you it's really? it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Of all the places coming from Virginia to California, what's, what's your favorite spot that you like to go to? Probably the most fun I've had is, was in Dallas. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Dallas is not one of the... Uh, landmarks. Uh, I don't mean anything personal in Texas now, Dallas, but uh, I mean, other than the Cowboys and, and a lot of big stores and oil. And... It can be a lot of fun. <laughs> it certainly can. <laughs> Listen, uh, we'll see you all next time. These two will be back to play Scrabble Sprint, and I'll be back to help them. See you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.
Dry Feet Water is from the body contestant to receive Soft Sense Skin Lotion. When summer sun and wind dry your skin, Soft Sense restores softness without stickiness. And new liquid Shout. It's thicker to remove tough stains better. Want a tough stain out? Shout it out. Plus, rust not from Plasticoat. Fast dry rust fighter long lasting protection. Spray or brushing enamel from Plasticoat. And pour yourself a frosty one. Rich, creamy AW root beer or one calorie sugar free AW. Truck Wilderley's wardrobe, put in by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Truck Wilderley, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Jay Stewart speaking. Tonight on the Monday Night Movie, Gary Coleman's got the Midas touch when it comes to picking the ponies, and everyone wants a piece of his action on the right track. Then catch a hilarious candid camera with guest stars Lonnie Anderson and Valerie Hopper. Scrabble is a rich blending 